video. In this episode we're gonna try to wake up some sleeping investigators while hoping that one of our investigators actually is gonna come back from <laughs> getting lost in another dimension. So here's the situation. I have one monster here on the French hill or should I say monsters because this is just an evil present that can attack uh, any investigator in the French hill. The, this is where Diamanda is and she's right now only active investigator that can do something about the uh, Carcosa mystery. So Rachel is falling, uh, fell in slumber. Uh, Kay, Kai Herbert is also sleeping here in, in the downtown and uh, Marcel Stipetic is of course <laughs> lost in another, another dimension. So let's do my action phase quickly. So I have to try to wake up some of my investigators otherwise I'll have big problems because if another reconing hits and uh, I happen to be in one of these uh, districts I'm gonna fall slumber too. So if all investigators basically fall in slumber I lose the game. So with Amanda, um, let me check something. She has an inside spell, which I can use to just put my uh, put this um, clue in my supply. But the problem is I'll have to rise. Uh, I'll have to rise corruption somewhere by two. I can spread it around, but corruption is right now really making problems in this uh, scenario. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna actually pay a taxi for one dollar. Now before I do that I have to explain that we still have a problem with the headline effect where the uh, Miskatonish river water levels rise up and the Arkham basically flooded so we can't move or travel. I can still use a taxi. I guess I can pay for the boat <laughs> to just uh, get me to, to any other district. So yeah, I'm gonna pay one dollar and I'm gonna move to Kai's location here. Using a boat taxi going through the water and then I can do a free action here Kai's have a uh, this slumber condition. It doesn't cost an action just to test my strength to try to wake him up. I need to slap him around to <laughs> to bring him from slumber. So yeah, Amanda is gonna test her strength. I need four plus. This is only three. I think I should like focus before I have I done that this. Uh, I can spend my clue to reroll, but I don't. I really don't want to do that. Uh, okay, so here's my problem right now. Should I ward this place for my second action and be safe from the reckoning, or should I go and try to do a research and place another clue in the mist on the mystery? I think I'm gonna try to ward. So testing my lore. Wow, I failed even that. Oh damn. So no warding. Okay. Not much I managed to do this turn. <laughs> Just move to location where I can actually be in trouble. So other investigators are going to skip their actions and encounters uh, Rachel and Kai because they are they're in slumber while uh, Marcel is going to have at least his encounter other world encounter. So let's go to the mythos phase and let's start with Amanda first or actually let's start with Marcel. Uh, so he's going to Oops. So he's going to have a other war encounter. Let's put this. 
and how this works is uh, we have uh, three gates that he could actually slip from to so I'm gonna roll first for that that's a five so he went through the blue gate so I'm gonna roll again to see what kind of encounter with the blue gate he has number two you feel that the corruption on this new dark wall is getting hold on your wall but body so he need to strength test the uh, strength and his willpower uh, strength minus one so I'm gonna roll two dice his strength is five plus so he can only pass on six and willpower is pretty good wow it's gonna going to be tough because I have to pass both of my tests if I want to do this oh so let's say this is my willpower I pass that but I fail my strength so I fail the complete test it says fail the blight that is eating you is spreading add two to the highest corruption of one district wow all right so this will go to seven actually to six because you can go more than six corruption so the corruption is gonna uh, go to seven or to six so I have to move this on the corruption track well the problem is whenever corruption go to six or more to six uh, the number that he it goes like over the six or to six is that's how much doom you have to move so right now that's seven which means doom is gonna move twice it's gonna go to ten wow okay and uh, Marcel is still lost in the other dimension all right uh, let's do the Amanda encounter I'm gonna actually do the clue encounter so she's uh, in downtown let's roll that's number three it says dead body found in the merchant district resembles a wanted man you were looking for uh, she had to pass uh, let's see corruption is in red so she had to pass one down which means willpower minus one okay so the, <laughs> she failed all right nothing happens if she failed mm, there is only pass so effect so basically she will not pick up this clue okay now the mythos phase so <laughs> right now corruption is in red so we're gonna have a red mythos which is pretty bad because red mythos is all about this recording and I don't want to have a recording right here because Amanda can get uh, in slumber too and if you know if I get all my investigators in the slumber condition I lose the game so let's see that's number four <laughs> that's the only one that actually doesn't have uh, condition so how this works is first going from left to right uh, we have a corruption effect we go to our setup card it says plus uh, one to all districts so this will go to five this will go to five this will go to four and this will go to seven I can't make it more than it is right now it's gonna do uh, so it's gonna move doom again it's gonna, it's gonna move to nine all right the second thing is uh, oh I'm looking actually at the at the wrong uh, oh no actually yeah that, that's, uh, the second thing is gonna happen is we're gonna have another monster uh, we have, we're gonna have a monster attack so nothing in the French hill lucky for us but also another monster is gonna spawn and that's the basically the maximum number you can spawn after that they just uh, attacking in those districts where they are so let's see in which district the monster is gonna actually spawn so let's roll set a chart that's a five, so it's gonna spawn downtown. So also we have a monster there, nice. And lastly, we're also going to have one clue spawn. Now here's the deal. 
if you have to, as I said, if you have to spawn a clue and you can't, the clue is just gonna move toward the old, toward the nearest investigators. Well, it's already there, so nothing is going to happen. So that was our mythos effect. Uh, lucky for me, at least, uh, there wasn't any recording effects, otherwise Amantis would fall asleep too. Okay. So let's do another uh, another turn. Well, I'm really in trouble right now. Uh, I'm thinking, how can I make this district safer? I really have to wake up Kai. Otherwise, this will be really problematic. So I'm gonna focus first, I'm gonna focus my strength. That's the first action with Amanda. Then I'm gonna test the strength for free trying to wake up Kai. That's a 5 plus 1, that's actually 6. I managed to wake him up so he's not in slumber anymore. Kai is waking up. Okay, for my second action I'm going to... I have to ward, I definitely have to ward, we need to lower this corruption here to be safe. So I'm gonna test my lore, and I failed, I didn't manage, I can spend my focus, I'm gonna do that, to re-roll my ward, my lore test, and this time I managed, so we're gonna lower corruption to 4. Okay. Uh, the other investigator that can do uh, actions right now is Kai because he's waking up. So for my first action, I'm gonna focus my lore, and for my second action, I'm going to ward because I we really need to lower the corruption this this fast. That's a five actually 6 with, with the plus 1 so we're gonna lower this 3 so those are his two actions and the other investigator can't do actions but uh, at least Marcel can do his encounter so let's jump to our encounter phase Wow, this dome 6 here is really problematic. So, encounter phase. Let's do Marcel first. He's in other words. Let's see. Let's flip this. He's right now number 4. That's the orange gate. He's gonna get one orange encounter. Number 5. Caught in the battle between Shogots and Elder Things, you try to evade the conflict. You need to test strength and willpower minus one. Wow. Okay, that's gonna be really tough for him. Oh, I need a really good roll. Ooh, I think I passed. I can use a six as my strength. That's actually minus one, it's five. Uh, and his willpower is three minus one, so he passed. He passed both tests. So let's see. Uh, you managed to break free. Gain one random spell and close this gate. So whenever you hear the close this gate, it's actually he's gonna return to our world and he's also going to get one random spell. Um, let's see. I need to roll two dice to see what kind of random spell he's going to have. That's number seven. Uh, that is insight. So he gets an insight. And now when, you, when you're returning to Arkham, you first roll to see on which district. District number 1, that's here. And now let's see on which uh, spot. On spot number 6, uh, that's here in the small park. Alright, at least he returned <laughs> uh, from another dimension. So the next who going to have uh, encounter is going to be Kai. So he's gonna try to gather the clue. So rolling it, testing it, clue encounter. It's it is downtown. It's number three. It says dead body found in the merchant. This resembles the wanted man you were looking for. 
you need to pass, let me see, red down, that's uh, willpower minus one. Six minus one, that's a five, he passed. So he's going to get a clue, definitely, and let's see what else. Mm. Uh, gain this clue, if you move one monster to your district, you can retreat Doom by one. Mm. Well, I already have a monster in my district. I can move this one, but that could be too much. Two monsters in the districts, I mean, that's not a problem. Uh, I mean, it is a problem if you get the monster attack. Well, you resolve only one attack, but uh, should I do that? No, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to retreat the Doom by one. Because monsters are right, right now super hard to beat. You need a 6 to kill it or 5 or more to just evade it. Hmm. Now, I have a clue and I'm not going to do that. So let's do the Amanda encounter. Since I have a clue I can just do a regular encounter in the downtown district. Uh, that's number three. From the tallest building in the district, you witness rising of two suns. Uh, she need to pass willpower minus one. Okay. Six minus one and five. She did pass. Skip ne next mythos phase. Okay, that's good. I'm just gonna skip the whole mythos phase. Uh, well. I think I'm gonna stop video here. Uh, the situation is, is a bit better. Uh, right now only the Rachel is the one that is like in slumber. The problem is the really high corruption in the north side district and the south side district. I also I have a two monsters on board. They're gonna make some problems for us so I need to watch for that. Uh, but in any case uh, it's not that bad. If I manage to place these two clues on the mysteries I can solve I can solve the first mystery which can help me out uh, to progress to the scenario. In any case thanks for watching this was the tiny Arkham turn four and see you in the next video.